Good morning, Central Florida. James Turner here, your local realtor, and welcome back to the channel. And man, uh, I'm a little fired up. I don't even know how this video is going to go. I uh, didn't really plan on making this video. I was just going for my normal walk and uh, happened to catch a uh, video on, my U on, uh, on YouTube and it got me really, really aggravated. So, um, but hopefully you are having a great day and hopefully this video gets you fired up too to uh, just start thinking, okay? Remember, I always say verify, testify, you know, like look into things, but all right, so let's get into it. So I'm watching this video. This is from, they're doing an interview on a guy that used to work for Coca-Cola, like many years, okay? And we start talking, it starts talking about how Coca-Cola, which we obviously know is not great. I think anyone can, can say, hey, if you want to live a healthy lifestyle, you know, include Coca-Cola in your diet and sugar in your diet, okay? But it, it brought up a really interesting point. So we all pay money to have uh, for our food stamp program, right? And I agree, people should always have access to food and, you know, people in need. I 100% support that. Here's where I have the problem. Guess what the number one thing on the money that's spent on food stamps, the number one thing that that money goes towards that comes out of our paychecks, soda and sugary drinks. 10% more than anything, anything in the grocery store, 10% of that food stamp money is going to soda and sugary drinks. Whoo boy, let that sink in for a second. And 70% is all the other processed crap combined. So your meals in a box, your cereals, your Lucky Charms, your uh, crackers, chips, all that other nonsense, all that stuff, candy bars, all the processed crap takes up 70%. So now 80% of the money that comes out of your paycheck that you put towards food stamps is literally going to fund that crap. 20% of it is actually being used on stuff like meat, vegetables, which, you know, there's some debate on vegetables, but we won't get into that in this video. But I'd rather see someone eating vegetables than freaking Doritos with Red 40 in it. But what pisses me off is th this problem, it, it, there's so many different problems with this, okay? Let's start with one, that's a huge waste of money to feed people a bunch of crap. Now, let's do the flip side. People that eat a bunch of crap who don't have money for food, what happens? They get sick and they have to go cure, get treatment for all this years of crap that they're feeding themselves and their kids. And if they don't have money for food, they don't have money for doctor's visits or medicine or any of that. So now we have to pay for that too. And we're literally making them sick and paying for it by feeding them junk food that we also pay for. Why is there no regulations on this? You wanna do food stamps to help people in need? Okay, water. Like, why are, we, why are we paying for soda? Why are we paying for Lucky Charms? Like, there needs to be a list or just certain things. And it's not like it's hard. They already have things like this in place. Can't go buy beer on food stamps, which is great. I mean, because imagine if you could. Imagine if people got food stamps and they could go buy beer. Everyone be starving because everyone be drinking. Like the, the system's in place and it, it, it's just a trap. It's keeping these people trapped. Now, here's the other thing that really kind of was like an aha thing for me, right? It's like, okay, well, why wouldn't the government want to take in and, you know, just say, hey, you can't feed it on this. Well, who do you think is paying all this money to take and have these items on the food stamp program coca-cola general mills nabisco all these 
all these companies they're paying for it because think about it if if i'm if i'm coca-cola this is exactly what the guy basically said if i'm coca-cola and people on food stamps are consuming the largest amount of money they're spending is on coca-cola or you know sugary drinks it's like a monthly revenue stream for them why in the world imagine what would happen to their stock or their you know revenue streams if the government said you can't use food stamps for sugary drinks imagine what would happen is if they did cut that out what would happen to people's health how many thousands of pounds of sugar an hour we would be consuming less if we didn't have you know if we didn't give this access now here's here's another problem like i said there's multiple problems with this if you come out and you say you can't do sugary drinks and you can't have your lucky charms and you can't do this on a food stamp program then people are going to say well you're taking away people's right to choose it's their choice if they want to take and, and eat that or drink okay but it where's my choice on the money that i put in of where it goes where's that choice if they want those lucky charms so bad put it on your christmas list get a part-time job make $100 a week and you go buy all the Lucky Charms you want. But when you're taking the money from other people and, and and it's not even they're taking it, the government is giving them. So we really should be more mad at the, at the, the government because the people are just addicted. This is a drug for them. They need the sugar like, like a heroin addict. So like essentially you, you, you can't get, I mean, it gets me mad, but who are you really to blame, right? Companies wanna make money. Governments want the money and people want the addiction. That's just how it works, okay? Oh, all right. So let's think about some other things. Well, you got people that say, well, we gotta feed the population and processed food is cheaper. Okay, I get this because I, I do carnivore. I get this, oh man, carnivore is so expensive. But really, if you think about it, you think that food is cheap because you can get a bowl of cereal and you can get a bag of chips, you know, and it's super cheap. But then you're eating all day, just countless meals, snacks. There's no nutritional value in that. You take and you eat, Who? Can, how many people can sit there, eat a dinner? Let's just say you did what I eat for dinner one time, right? You get a big steak and three eggs. And you eat that, okay? And you're gonna be like, oh man, I'm full. I don't know if I can, I can finish this thing. Or listen, here, how many times do you have a plate? You ain't, you ain't hungry enough to finish them vegetables. But then you will open up a bag of chips and eat that entire bag. It's like a second stomach just comes out of you. And it's like, oh, I'm not hungry for healthy stuff, but you want to give me some potato chips? Yeah, I'll grow a second stomach for that. Now let's start thinking about some of the repercussions of that, right? We already have increased health care. Now that is going through the roof because we're feeding these kids all this crap. And here's the little statistic. And if you follow me on Facebook, you would have already seen this. But in 1960, one in over 50,000 kids had autism. It's now one in 54 kids. Let me get out of the way of this sun. One in 54 kids have some level of autism. What do you think changed between 1960 and today? This is ridiculous. We are literally paying to hurt these people and there's no incentive for these people to even try to make the right choice. Cut out all this crap that they can't, like you, you can't buy this and give them the option to get healthy food because then they're going to start taking and using less money in healthcare, which is going to take and save money. They're going to actually probably eat less because when you tell people they can only eat what, what we should be eating and not processed crap, you eat a whole lot less, which means that you're going to lose weight. You're gonna get healthier. You're gonna spend overall less money 
or even if they spend the same amount because they're going to obviously use up all the money but they're going to save it in the healthcare. they're also going to feel better right how many of these people if you cut out all this processed crap right and they start eating healthy and start feeling better how many of them may go the next step cut out smoking cut out drinking could, could you see how that could happen i don't think if we were to say hey we're going to feed you highly processed crap because that's going to help you want or motivate you to want to take and stop smoking or drinking go ahead put that let's let's put a hundred dollars and see which one you think would be more successful come on like it's this is a joke i'm so fired up on this i uh hopefully this video does not come across too negative but hopefully you're fired up about this like i'm curious what is your guys' thoughts on this of course there's a lot more right here what is your guys' thoughts on this what do you think about having stuff like lucky charms and doritos with red 40 in it and uh you know sugary diet peps you know pepsis and all this stuff what do you think about that being allowed on the food stamp program what do you think about your money going to pay this crap food to people that you then have to turn around and pay for their health care treatment because of the food that, that your money went to go pay them to get them unhealthy let me know what your thoughts are about this tomorrow is going to be a much positive more positive video i promise i'll think of something that uh doesn't get me so fired up about this but hopefully you guys are enjoying this video thank you for going along the walk with me and keeping me company hopefully you enjoyed something new and i'm going to leave the link to the video that i was watching for those that want to continue watching it it is about an hour long uh so you know but i'll leave that down in the description below so if you want to take and check it out um because this is just this is just ridiculous we gotta we gotta do something about this but anyway you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I will see you in the next walk and talk video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video with someone. Um, you know, share this video. Let's get the word out and let's see what other people think. Like, you know, maybe with enough people behind it, we could get some type of change. It's a stretch, but at least, you know, working towards something. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Drop a like.